I hope you had a fabulous April. I know I did, and I managed to collect a bunch of faves that I'm going to go through um, right now with you guys. And my first favorite is definitely this Dove Dry Shampoo. And I have a few drugstore dry shampoo favorites, and I actually have a video on it. So if you guys are interested in watching that, I'll link it down below in the info box. I think I go over like Suave's Dry Shampoo, Tresemme's Dry Shampoo, and Not Your Mother's Dry Shampoo. But the Dove one is by far the best. Like this is very comparable to some of the salon dry shampoos that I have. Like, I don't know, it just, when you spray it, the powder's really fine, so it doesn't look like clumpy, and it just smells amazing. Like, I can't even stop, like, raving about the smell because it smells so good. It's definitely the best smelling drugstore dry shampoo that I've tried. Like, I got a sample Dove pomegranate type spray, and it kind of smells like that, so... Anyways, love, love, love this product. I also have um, a video showing like my salon favorite dry shampoos. If you're interested in watching that, I'll have that linked down below as well. My next favorite is this Essie nail polish in To Buy or Not To Buy. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I feel like the color is being washed out on camera. But anyways, I Instagrammed a photo of this. And I just love this color. It's just a really light lavender and there's like an iridescent shimmer in it. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but it's just a really, really pretty like springtime color. Now, for those of you that have been watching my favorites videos, you know that I'm like obsessed with the Revlon lip butters. And I thought I'd um, purchase some darker shades. The shades that I've bought so far have been on the lighter side, more neutral side. Um, so I thought I'd try their darker shades just to see how pigmented they are and how well they work. And um, I'm just going to say right now that I'm in love with their darker shades as well. These are the three shades that I picked up. This one is in Berry Smoothie, and it's number 50, and it's just like a really, really pretty shade. I love wearing this. It's good for every day, and it looks really, really dark right now, but when you put it on your lips, it's actually a little bit sheer and um, just a really pretty berry color, and it goes really well with my skin tone. The next shade that I picked up was the 015 Tutti Fruity, and it's a really, really, really pretty shade of red-orange, and I know that just doesn't sound appealing, and you're like, oh my gosh, how does that look good on your face? <laughs> but I promise you, like, it's a really pretty rich um, red-orange color, and it's a good for, like, when you're just wearing, like, bronzer. I really, really like this shade, and, um... I know Sephora has their like Pantone line and this kind of reminds me of something that would be from their Pantone line. The last one I picked up was the number 70 Cherry Tart. And this is just a really, really pretty bright red. And I just love the shade. And it's just very juicy looking when you wear it, so I absolutely love this color. So these are the darker shades of Revlon Color Burst Lip Butters that I picked up. And the only reason why I picked these up was because you guys suggested them to me. So I really do appreciate that, and these colors are amazing. If you guys have any other suggestions or any other lip butter um, colors that you think I should try, leave them down below in the comments, and I'll be sure to check them out. My next favorite is this Daisy by Marc Jacobs perfume, and oh my gosh, I am obsessed with this scent, and this was in my favorites last month, if you guys watched that, um, but oh, it just smells like so, so good, and I think I described this scent in um, the other video, so I'll have that link down below in the info box if you um, want to check that out, but anyways, yeah, this is just my favorite favorite perfume right now and it's just such a good like springtime scent and I think I mentioned in the other video that um, it's just a good transition perfume from like winter to spring so yeah loving this perfume 
Okay, so I normally start off these favorites videos with non-beauty product favorites, but I was like so excited about the Dove Dry Shampoo that I totally forgot to show you um, the one non-beauty product favorite of mine. And it's actually this dress by Adriana Papel. And I don't know if you guys can see it. And oh my gosh, I'm just absolutely in love with this dress. And I wore it in Vegas. I have a couple videos featuring this dress, so if you guys are interested in seeing it on me, then I'll have those linked down below in the info box. So those are my April favorites, and if you guys like this video, please thumbs up, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye!